Everybody, I, I know I can't be the only one that's like shocked, like literally shocked by this because so many of us thought that something like this would happen way before the season especially after the draft when you see Isaiah Likely and a Charlie Kolar both get drafted you still have a Mark Andrews and a Josh Oliver around a lot of us thought that this would have been happening but for it to happen in week 18 it's weird timing is weird but anyway, what are we talking about? Well, it's been reported that the Ravens have waived veteran wide receiver Deshaun Jackson. Now, that part was a little surprising, but at the same time, it really wasn't that surprising. But at the same time, I guess it's more surprising than not. It was reported all week this week that Deshaun Jackson was sick. He said he was ill, wasn't feeling well. Ill enough to get waived? <laughs> Oh, Ravens, okay, y'all just put this guy on the active roster a couple of weeks ago. This was, this is, this is your only deep threat. Was he sick enough that y'all don't want no deep threat for at least a playoff game? Is it that bad? Is it that bad? Like, this was Lamar Jackson, his best deep threat that he had on the squad. Because you know there ain't many options there. So the Ravens were like, uh, Deshaun, uh, but, well, and they could, of course, always bring him back. They could always put him on the active roster, but, I mean, put him on a practice squad, excuse me. So we'll see what happens with that. But I guess the Ravens were like, man, we, we press for roster spots. It's too late in the season. We can't do our infamous put a random person on injury reserve. We can't do any mini, miny, mo, IR, there you go. We can't do that right now because it's too late. It's too late. So, because anybody who gets put on injury reserve now, the earliest that they could come back would be for the Super Bowl, right? Because you had to miss at least four games would be week 18, then be wild card, then divisional, then AFC championship, right? right? So, yeah, the earliest they could come back would be the Super Bowl. But anyway, they can't mess around with that. But So, Deshaun Jackson, them releasing him was a little bit surprising. But this one, them releasing, waving, cutting Nick Boyle? Now, not before the season started, not during this, but now, that's the one that got me puzzled. Like, what made you, like, are you, are you, unless you're just really that tight for roster spots, what made you decide you, you had to wait until all the way to the end of the season? This is, that one just had me scratching my, it still got me scratching my head. Because they they didn't use Nick Boyle. They had him out there like every once in a while. Once in a blue moon. And we know he was coming back from injuries. He came back from some crazy severe injuries. So shout out to Nick Boyle for even coming back from that stuff. Um, I remember in the preseason. This past preseason. He was out there a lot. A whole lot. And I know he said, oh, well, yeah, I just wanna, I want to. I want a coach to play me. I wanted them to play me. I wanted to play a lot in the preseason. So I could just get back in the groove of things. But, like, he was out there a whole lot. And I thought that he was really auditioning for other teams. But, no, Ravens kept him around. They literally kept this man around the whole year. On the active roster the whole year. And that's another candidate, I guess, that could come back to the practice squad. But I don't think they're going to bring him back to the practice squad. So, yeah, Nick Boyle is out. That is so crazy because isn't his salary, like, Pretty significant. I wonder how this affects the the cap and all that. How much relief they'll get. How much dead cap. I, I I just wonder about all that. So, I guess we'll see. So anyway, the team has elevated quarterback Brett Huntley. Um, okay, so no shocker there, especially with the uncertainty with Tyler Huntley. Um, you gotta elevate Brett Huntley. So. Anthony Brown, it, it just ain't going to be all on his shoulders just in case. So that was expected. They also elevated defensive tackle Rashad Nichols from the practice squad. So those are two practice squad elevations. Now, Tylen Wallace is officially back. He is no longer on injury reserve. Uh, he has officially been designated to return. Well, not even designated to return. He's on the roster now. Tylen Wallace is back on the active roster. John Harbaugh did talk about a couple of weeks ago. He said Tylen has a chance to be back. When they put Tylen Wallace and uh, Jalen Armand Davis on injury reserve, he did say Tylen Wallace has a chance to be back, and he's back. I I'm still 
still confused about the whole like the whole deep threat thing. But anyway, with Deshaun, anyway, and Daryl Worley, another cornerback, they activated him from injury reserve as well. Now I wonder if they did this. Uh, I wonder how the game is going to be tomorrow, because before, like I said on here, I, I didn't think they was going to play starters at all. But with them having a chance to actually have a home playoff game, I think they just might. Because you got you to gotta win, of course, and then you got to get a coin toss. And I know there's been a lot of back and forth on that. But when you think about it, like, I know Bengals, a lot of Bengals fans and stuff, they, they upset about the situation, which I can, I can understand. I, I, I get it. Um, but a lot of Ravens fans are upset about the situation, too, which I can understand. I get it. And the, the reason that a lot of Ravens fans are upset is because, like, yeah, no, Ravens, they, they, they did blunder a lot of games early on in the season, but they put themselves in a position to possibly be fighting for the, uh, the AFC North. And then on top of that, say, for instance, they win tomorrow. If the Ravens win tomorrow, that's a, I know that's a big if, but it's possible. If the Ravens win tomorrow, they would be Bengals, Bengals, Browns, Steelers, and Browns, Steelers, they lost to. So they would be 4-2. and two. They would be 4-2. and two. In the AFC North If they win tomorrow But then they could still Not win the AFC North They could sweep They could possibly sweep the Bengals Be 4-2 in the AFC North And not win it Not even have a chance to win it And then they could win And not even get a home play But anyway well they could win. So we'll see Again I, the, the situation is what the situation is um, But it's, it's definitely had Impacts on Several different teams Several of them Not just the Bengals Not just the Ravens Not just the Bills Not just the Chiefs I mean it's impacted The whole AFC So It's just one of them situations Where It is what it is um, But anyway That's that uh, I'm still Shocked By this Like this is I'm like oh, Okay Ravens Like what Alright now But Hey It is what it is Right Anyway I love y'all team Keep it clean I appreciate y'all and just like Deshaun Jackson and Nick Boyer Law, we out.